is up, everybody? It's Chris, Middle Mayhem, Jacksonville.com, seen it live. Here with Ryan, head man of soil. Yes, how you doing, sir? Good, man. How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing good. It's great to have soil in Jacksonville. That's good to be here. We, uh, we got hit by rain like the last few days, so we're down here and just actually get to see the sun. It was raining on us a little bit earlier, but get to see the sun now, and it's a, it's a welcome sight. Definitely. I mean, it, it's not as, you know, yesterday we had sunny skies until the rain moved in. It was mid-80s. Yeah. It's, it's a little chilly. But uh, let's talk about the band. All right, fine. Yeah, it's, it's kind of what we're all here for, <laughs> you know, I guess. But uh, soil, man, you guys have been big. Yeah. Uh, took a little, little uh, yeah, my, my seven year itch thing got in the way. I soil for seven years, drowning pool for seven years, now back with soil. I was married for seven years. The relationship before my marriage was seven years. So my, my current girlfriend's like, well, I got seven years. <laughs> yeah, so uh, if, if she's good to you, we got to find a way to break the seven year yes, itch. Yes, definitely. I'm, I'm working on that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, mo most everybody that, you know, they might not know the name Soil. But they know the song Halo. Right, right. You know, what would that song mean to you guys starting off? I mean, we, I mean, we were, we were damaged goods. Uh, we, we'd done a full length and an EP with an uh, independent label out of uh, New York called MIA, and they went out of business like a month after they released it. Wow. So when we went shopping for a new label, they go back and they look at the books. How many, you know, how many did you scan and everything? How many sales did you have? And it doesn't say, and there's no asterisk by, you know, the album saying that company went out of business a month after the release so they see the number and it's not impressive at that point so you know we were damaged good in the, in the eyes of a lot of people in the industry so we we you know we, we pondered what to do and and kind of talked me <laughs> kind of got talked into doing another demo and, and we did a we did another demo with Johnny K out of Chicago and it happened to have Halo on it Halo my own and, and Need to Feel three songs that all were on the Scars album and a radio station out of Orlando, Florida, picked it up, started spinning it, ended up being the, the number one requested song on the radio station, and they were a very influential rock station as far as nationally goes, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, we were just uh, basically in the middle of a bidding war, and every label out there just wanted a piece of it, and so it was uh, it very important, that was the song that the radio station started spinning, so that song is really why we're here, you know, 13, well, that song, the fact that people allow us to be yeah, here definitely. is the reason that we're here, you know, 13 years later. So, uh, 14 or 17 or whatever it is now. It's, it's, it's been a good run. <laughs> yeah. It's been unbelievable just to be able to do this, to, for people to still be buying the music, coming out of the sh shows and supporting us. It's, it's a gift. It's, it's amazing. So let's, uh, let's dive a little bit into you personally, about your, uh, your seven-year itch that you had with, with another band that, that most everybody knows, especially for, uh, for one song. Right. Again. So, uh, Drowning Pool. Yeah, it was, it was great. I was, uh, I, when I left Soil, I was out of music for about nine months, and about the same time that the bug was biting me again, they, I got a phone call from them. I uh, wanted to know if I was interested in getting back into the game. And those guys were my best friends in the business you know, when I was in soil. And just always looked forward to sharing time on the road with those guys. And Davey was one of, was one of my best friends you know, when he was still with us. And, and uh, so it was kind of a no-brainer, especially when his parents, actually Davey's mom, called me one time. And, wow. and I was like, you know, if anybody's going to do it, Davey, you know, make him happy. So I got the, the blessing of Miss Williams. So it was, it was, it was, it was you know, a good time. And just had seven great years with those guys. Got a chance to do a lot of cool things, the USA tours and, and, and a lot of just neat experience with those guys. But again, those seven years came around and I started getting that itch and uh, we, we went our separate ways. And, uh, nothing but great things to say about those guys. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's definitely hard to, you know, uh, especially with you being as close as you were with them, to, you know, everybody knows Johnny Wolf and Stunt Bodies. Right. You know, how, how was it you being up on stage singing that song? I think luckily for me, and then for everybody involved, Soil and Johnny Wolf at that time really shared a really long the same fan base. So, I was out of music long enough that one of the people that followed my career was kind of, you know, trying to get back in it again. And then when I did, and it was with those guys, who they also liked, it, so it was a great response. We, you know, it was, the, the Dragon Pool fan base seemed to welcome me with open arms. It was, it was a good time. Yeah, and I know they have, uh, uh Jason, some vocals for them. 
Yeah, Jason, uh, oh, I've known Jason for years. He was in a, uh, not the original, yeah, you get Jason Jones who came in right after. Yeah, the, yeah so uh, Jason Moreno. Moreno, yes. Um, known him for years. He was in a, in a, a local band in Dallas when, you know, when, during my time with, with uh, Drowning Pool, and they actually went out on the road with us a few times and opened up for us. And good guy, nice guy, good family dudes, and, uh, yeah. Again, he's just like the rest of them. I got nothing, nothing to praise to the hand. He's got a great instrument. Uh, if this goes back to the uh, the, the drowning pool crew. Jason never doesn't work out for you guys. I've been known to sing bodies at, at karaoke night. There you go. Just won't put that together. Go for number five. <laughs> hey, as long as the beast keeps living. Yep, absolutely. But uh, back, back to now. Swirl is back. Yeah. Uh, you guys had the album come out last year. You know, the hate song. Which, I love that song. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was, you know, we, we, my touring cycle for the self-titled album, the self-titled Drowning Pool album was coming to an end. And uh, the guys got a hold of me and asked me if I'd be interested in doing a 10th anniversary tour over in the UK uh, of Scars. And the timing was just right, and it just sounded so, like something fun to do again. And so we we ran over there, we did that tour, and had way too much fun with it. And uh, you know, when I came back, I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was having that itch again, and uh, ended up parting ways with the Drowning Pool guys. And we just kept talking. Me and the Soil guys just kept talking. And the more we talked, the more we realized we were on the same page. That if we did another record, we wanted to keep it in house, keep all the decision making. You know, amongst ourselves, and uh, it became more and more interesting to me, and, and that's why you know that down the road now, all of a sudden we've got to release a pool and and, uh, and just enjoying. You know, I think we've all gotten to a point in our careers we've had en enough years in it to realize to survive internally, you just can't sweat the small shit. Yeah. You, know, you, you got to. There's certain things you can't control, and if you consume yourself with them, they're gonna drive you nuts. So just. Just try to focus on what you can deal with and, and let the rest go to the side. Otherwise, you're going to be strangling each other at 2 a.m. in a drunken fury. Well, you know, that, that, that's occasionally that allowed to happen as, you know, bands or families. So, you know, right. It's, it's hard to smack your brother around every now and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned that with the drowning pool guys. That was, I, it was such a, a breath of fresh air for me at the time because I was so used to, you know, people get mad at each other and they keep it all bottled up in the drowning pool. Nah, you get mad. Take a swing. Let it go. <laughs> Five seconds later, we're sitting at the same table having a drink together. It was, but no, it's uh, it's good to be back. We're having fun, you know. Or it's they joke about the fact that because I didn't drink during my first run, so and uh, there, you know, the joke is that had I been drinking back then, we'd probably still be together. You know, I would have never set it up had I been on the same plane as them. It's funny. I hear that a lot too. If you had drank back then, <laughs> but uh. So, how's the uh, the Tantric Soil Tour going so far? Having fun with it. Those, those guys are good guys. I mean, they're fun to be around. We're getting along great. That's always like the biggest thing for, for me personally on the road is when you're with bands that are, are that consist of good people and there's fun people to be around, it makes the road a hell of a lot easier. Oh, yeah. You know, it's... it's yeah, because I mean, you're dealing with these guys night in, night yeah, out. You know, yeah, so. when you're dealing with somebody with an attitude or whatever, it's, it sucks to be around. It, it makes the road... You, know, you don't want to step off the bus and run into that person or whatever. You don't want to see them. You don't want to get stuck in a conversation, but when you're with people that are just cool people to hang out with, it makes a world of difference. So, uh, after this tour wraps up, what's what's next for Soil? Right now we have... Uh, we're doing the month of May with Head PE. We're going out... Uh, making our way out to the west coast and, and, and really concentrating out there because we haven't been out there for a long while. So uh, we're hitting the west coast with Head PE and, uh, and then there's a couple things we haven't decided yet. There's two or three things on the on the table for summertime and then we just announced um, we just announced a bunch of European dates for the end of the year and I believe there's going to be another announcement about the end of the year coming up here within the next day or two. Um, but just more road. I mean, same as always. You know, we just fell right back into the, the yeah. We fell right back into the way we always were, which is just playing as many shows as people will allow us to play, and, and just keeping the music out there in people's faces. Awesome. Well, I uh, appreciate your time. You, know, you guys have been a staple in uh, in my rotation for many, many of years. Thank you. You know, well, I have to say, either band that you've been in, <laughs> they, they've always been you know staples in it. But uh. Yeah. Well, the 
cool. Guys gonna be around here soon. I think. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah we're uh, supposed to be hopefully the end of May. Cool. So definitely looking forward to that one. Absolutely. I'll have to you know push Jason aside and tell him I'm singing a song. Right. Right. But, you know, <laughs> see how that goes. But uh, definitely appreciate it. And for everybody that's not here, make sure you go check them out on Facebook. Find out where they're gonna be next. If they're gonna be anywhere near you. Head PE tour coming up after this one. So everybody on the West Coast, check that out. Big things are coming from soil. They are back. Yes, sir. Thank you. So appreciate your time, Ryan. Thank you.